<sighs> okay, uh... Oh, boy. Third one of these in a row. We'll just go with it. Yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> I say that, but... I'm not even sure what to say about this one. This movie was... strange, to say the least. I don't know if I'd call it a horror film, but at the same time, there's some disturbing nature to it. Okay. Dogtooth. Or, uh, as it's uh, known in uh, Greek, where the Greek language, where it was from, uh, Kynodontos. Kynodontos? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't speak Greek. Okay. So, uh, let's just start with the plot and just kind of go from there. This is about a family. And a mother and a father raising their three children. The problem is the children are probably in their early 20s, but are still acting like children. They've been raised in this household this entire li their entire lives and have never been outside their family compound. And essentially, they're being raised as children, and any outside influences are kind of kept out. The only videos they have are home movies they've made. If a strange word comes up, it's give, assigned a new meaning. Like, uh, for example, they do a few things early on where, like, the word heard excursion is like a sturdy material, or... C is an armchair. Telephone is a salt shaker. So it's, they just kind of work it in there as if it's a natural thing, but essentially it's a way of keeping them from questioning any strange words they might hear. And, okay, so when I first read the description of this film, it mentioned they were bringing in this, then a, a woman from the outside to essentially fulfill their son's sexual desires. And so that, in my mind, kind of conjured up, like, was this a kidnapping film that she's brought to the strange cult-like thing, and and the balance of things gets upset from there? Especially since all the posters show this girl with a blindfold on. No, no, not at all what this is about. That isn't really a surprise or something that happens later. That's already going on from the beginning. It's someone who works at the same company as the father who's being paid, essentially, to sleep with the son and help maintain this secret. Okay. Uh, so she steadily starts fucking with the family, essentially, by bringing in things from the outside and trading them to the kids. Kids, I use really lightly, because, again, they're in their mid-twenties for sexual favors or just a upset the balance, particularly with the two daughters. And from there, it's mostly about the oldest girl. None of the kids have names. I usually refer to her as the eldest, uh, as the eldest one. Though she decides she wants to be named Bruce after watching a few movies like Rocky and uh, Jaws. They realize something. The father realizes something's got a father. She starts acting out scenes from movies. And then doing a dance from straight out of flash dance. Anyway, um, it's always weird. The awkward characters, it's weird pays. It is a strange movie, but very hypnotic. I will say that it's. So they've been told the kids have been told they will only be able to leave the house when their dog tooth falls out, well, they're either the left or the right. And, uh, essentially that's only safe to go outside when in the car. Like, a toy gets tossed over the fence and they're too scared to leave the family compound together. They actually, the father, just to play along, just drives out in the car just five feet and reaches down and grabs it. And at first they are told that they have a brother that's been kicked out because he, he left and now he's not allowed to come back. So that he lives just over the fence, so occasionally they're throwing food over to him, or 
yelling at him, but it's clear this character doesn't exist. But when a cat comes into their compound, they're, they don't know what it is, so they're terrified of it. One of the kids manages to kill it, but the father uses this opportunity to say, oh, nope, another one of those beasts killed your brother. So, good job, but stay here, otherwise you might get attacked by one of the most dangerous predators, a cat. Oh boy. Uh, like I said, the, the eldest daughter kind of takes on the lead role. She's the one that's determined to grow up and leave. So, she begins taking steps to do that. I don't know if I should go into the spoiler territory of this movie. I don't know if it would make sense if I did. This movie is odd. Very odd. And the ending is sudden, abrupt, and ambiguous. Like, it's clear that some more is about to happen, but just cuts out before then. So really, I don't know where this film would end otherwise. So I can't say it's a bad ending. But it's just one of those, you just are still left like, what? What happens now? So, um, it's a good movie, just a very strange one. So, the acting, it's hard to rate because, again, everyone's acting so weird and off-putting, but, again, intentionally. So, I'd say the acting is good, and you both, you buy the family, the father and the mother controlling things, and the all the three kid, kids, wide-eyed innocence at everything, so it is weird and uncomfortable, particularly when it starts getting into the incestuous bits. But at the same time, I'm not even convinced these kids are actually related. The father and mother start talking at one point about getting another kid, and they do they twins? Maybe twins. Uh, how about triplets? No, no, it's too much, too much. So it's making it sound like they're just going to go find more kids. So I'm not sure if these people were abducted, adopted, or what. I the mother's also... Then, well, she's going to have two kids. And, uh, t then two children and a dog. So that's how they explain where the dog comes from that they're going to be getting. It's, it's always weird. Very weird. But again, it was hypnotic. I was not bored. I could not look away from this thing. I'm gonna give this one a seven MacGuffins. It's not for everyone, definitely. If you're put off by, I guess, odd domestic abuse and awkward sexual encounters, particularly potentially incestuous ones, stay away from this thing. But if you are morbidly curious bent, like I am, have at it. The scene with the girl and the weight alone was uh, hard to watch. But I'll leave that to you guys if you want to see it. <sighs> okay. All on this one. Dog tooth. Uh, from what I hear, the, version, the subtitle version that was released in America is actually toned down. Like they trimmed some of the Sex scenes down a bit, so pay that what you will. This one's weird. <laughs>